Hello lovely friends, welcome to Creative Art. I am Nelema and in today's tutorial we are going to make this beautiful beautiful frozen theme Disney wall panel for ourselves. It is a really easy, simple and satisfying process to make this beautiful wall panel with a simple use of sparkling paste. This is how beautifully I have decorated it. And trust me friends, this is going to make your walls look fabulous. In my previous tutorial, I have also shown you to make a similar wall panel from the same frozen theme and that was the one that made my mind decide to make one more beautiful frozen theme wall panel for myself. So friends, do watch the complete tutorial to make this beautiful, beautiful frozen theme wall panel for yourself and do subscribe to Creative Art for more Creative Art tutorial and do press the bell icon so you don't miss any updates on a recent art form. Now friends, let's check out all the materials we are going to need for this DIY. First of all, we are going to need frozen theme filament decoupage paper and this time we are going to use this beautiful print of decoupage filament paper. Each pack contains two A4 size sheets and both the sheets have two different designs on it. A smaller size and a full size of A4 print. You can select any of the prints you like to use. Next, for placing this beautiful decoupage filament paper, we will need a base and for base, I'm going to use a A4 size cutout MDF board. Next, to place this filament decoupage paper on our base, I'm going to use Deco Magic Premium Decoupage Glue, the glossy one. You can also use the matte one. And to protect our decoupage art from any kind of dust or pollution, we are going to use a decor varnish gloss version from Little Birdie. To prepare the base, I'm going to use a matte chalk acrylic paint, snow white color from Little Birdie and a flat hair brush. Other than that, for the decoration part, I'm going to make use of different colors matching to our decoupage filament paper. You can either use chalk paint which looks like this or else you can also make use of a multi-surface paint. I personally like to use multi-surface paint for doing the coloring part or the decorative part. Here we have Lalia Flare. This one is Wisteria Mist. This one is Frozen Ice. Next what I'm going to use is this amazing and beautiful sparkling paste whipping cream. And this is how it looks with beautiful sparkles and stencil. So here we have two different designs of stencil. This is a wildflower stencil and this one is of this design. You can pick any of them you like and a palette knife. All these materials will be linked and listed in the description box below from where you can buy them online. And friends, if you use my code which is NILIMA5, N-I-L-I-M-A-5, you will get an additional 5% off on your entire purchase from Itsy Bitsy. Now let's start the tutorial friends. First of all, let's start by preparing our base which is a 10 into 12 inch MDF cutout board and its thickness is about 5 mm and for priming this time I'm going to use a home decor collection matte chalk acrylic paint snow white color from Little Birdie. Now using a flat hair brush, start priming your base from one side. Now we will let the base get dry completely. After the base is completely dry, this is how bright and smooth our base looks. So now friends, let's start our next step that is to place this beautiful decoupage filament paper on our base using Deco Magic Premium Decoupage Glue. I'm going to use the glossy one. First pour it in a container. Keep your filament paper ready where you want to place it. So this is exactly the place where I would like to place my decoupage filament paper. Just to mark, I'm going to start placing the decoupage glue right from here. Make sure there are no bubbles when you're placing a decoupage filament paper. As now this side is fixed, so our decoupage filament paper won't move from its place. So it would be much more easier for us to apply 
the glue. You can use a flat hair brush to gently press it or simply use your hand. As decoupage filament papers are quite strong as compared to a normal decoupage napkin, so there are very less probabilities of tearing your paper or sheet. Now we will let this part get dry completely and then we'll do our next decorative part. This is how our base looks. From the previous tutorial, I did have some sculpture paste remaining, so I did use some of it to do the surrounding base smooth and finally this is how it looks. But I'm going to redo it using some chalk paint because that is the original step what I was going to do. So for this step, you can either use multi-surface paint, I'm going to use Laliac flare or else you can also use the chalk paint from home decor collection I'm going to use three to four different colors to smoothen out all the edge and how I want it to look So this is going to be the sequence. I'm going to use Lavender blush for the bottom part Laliac flare for this middle part then frozen eyes for the next middle part and white or else you can also use a buttermilk color for the top part so this is how we are going to do the shading you can either use a sponge or you can also use a flat hair brush for this part now first i'm going to use the darkest color to do the bottom part and this perfectly matches the decoupage paper we have used Now I'm using a darker tone because this chalk paint got a little light when it is dry. We'll try to match the decoupage paper. After coloring the bottom part which looks like this now, let's start by coloring the top part. And then finally we will be mixing the middle part. And for this, I'm going to use a little bit of buttermilk color. And then a little bit of blue. Now let this part get dry completely and then do one more layer using a sponge to make these colors look more merged in. Now here I'm going to use the light blue color and just gently dab 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 using a sponge. Use a little bit of purple and start merging it in with blue. Now use a little bit of Laliac and start merging in with blue. Now do the same for this side also. And the same way use a little bit of dark violet in your sponge and start moving this dark color upwards very gently. After doing the merging part, this is how our wall panel looks, okay, from all the sides. So now friends, I'm going to do a little bit of highlighting part using this amazing, beautiful, metallic blue color. So dip your sponge in this way, try to do it just the half way. And then hold the canvas or your base in this way and just do the sides. So this metallic tint will give it a nice magical look which I'm expecting. Keep dabbing till you get that perfect shading we need. And now this is how the bottom looks right. It's nice and shiny. 
And now finally, after doing all the highlights, this is how beautiful, beautiful our panel looks. For the bottom part, I have used tinted metallic paint twilight and for the top part, I have used silver. So now friends, let's begin our next step of decoration. And for that, I'm going to use a stencil and this is the same design we used for our previous panel. And with the stencil, we're going to use sparkling paste. They do come in so many different colors. Here I have three to four colors. The first is passionate pink. The second is blushing berry. This one is whipping cream. I also have a dark blue. And in case if you don't have a darker or a lighter tone, you can simply make use of glitters to get a similar tone that you want. Now first place a stencil where you want to do the design. And here I'm using a dark blue color shimmering paste. Spread it using a palette knife. And now gently pick it up in this way and this is so beautiful beautiful it will look now for the next part i have done a little bit of shading of both the colors dark blue and then purple and then gently lift it up in this way and wow we have got a beautiful shading here now in the same way i have created these beautiful designs using multiple colors of sparkling paste so now let me show you how i place one more layer in between these two lines just place this stencil exactly where you want it to be start the bottom part with a little darker color and now gently lift it up and finally the so beautiful beautiful stencil you're going to get in between two different colors so let this part get dry completely and only after that try to place the next part now in the same way let's start placing stencil on this side from the top side of our panel for that place the stencil first and then pick up your favorite color that you want to place so here i'm going to use blue first And now gently gently pick this part up in this way in the same way we are going to place stencil on both the sides like left and right till the left side gets dry completely do it on right side and then again come back to the left side And now finally friends, this is how beautiful, beautiful our wall panel looks when it is finally completed. Let me show you a close up view of the beautiful stencil work that we have done. And this is how beautiful, beautiful it looks. I am absolutely stunned and amazed by how beautiful this glittering work looks. And it's just so wow. Just look at all the shimmering glittering shine it perfectly goes with the theme and finally this is how it looks I'm so amazed to see that the entire wall panel turned out so beautiful. When I made my first wall panel, which was this one, I was sure that I definitely have to make one more and this is how beautiful the second one looks. I have to say friends, this was the most easiest wall panels I have ever made and it looks so, so beautiful. The entire process was so easy just by using stencil and these amazing sparkling paste it just looks so so beautiful i love each and every color of these sparkling paste and i have to say that you should definitely definitely give it a try make it yourself and then do tell me in the comments below what do you think about this tutorial and if you do like my tutorials friends please do like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching